Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 with your story loggers into the mad. Now, last time we did some crazy maneuvers, yeah? Crazy maneuvers mean killing a boss, uh, switching to a tower shield, and then finding that we are actually relatively lethal against specific enemies. So, yeah, wild stuff. Exceptional, so. Uh, now we can go ahead and unlock a new path. Though I don't remember where it leads. Oh god, it leads to that direction. And that is the direction where I will not be able to fight properly. But there must be another one. There must be another way. So where is it? Oh, hello there. An honor to see you again. This room is not as it seems. There are two, not one, pathways leading out. And only this lovely thing reveals the other path. And this, you lovely thing, only runs on miracles. Shall I provide you with one? Shooting. Sure Though it's a lie. She has a control stone. Completely okay, I guess. Go ahead. Thank you. Um, leave. May the power of miracles be with you. That's rouge water, not rogue water. Rouge. Tough enemy, yet, but the uh, weakness is weakness leg, not despair. Unless the leg is in despair. Uh. They probably aren't clouds light enough. No, they're not. Wait then, which direction was this? Because it might be the one I'm thinking of, but it might not be the one I'm thinking of. But it might be the one I'm thinking of. But I'm hoping it's the one that leads to Earth and Beak. Because... I prefer that one to the one that leads to the Rotten. Hello? I don't know who you are, but believe me, the, the frailty of the weak disrupts the dark. Okay, see ya. Huntsman's Copes. Huh. I don't remember if this leads to where I want to go or not. But certainly a dangerous place on its own. Like really, really dangerous. I'm certainly not a fan of this place. And not only because of the flying poisonous moths, there are other reasons as well. They're not flying, they're just sat there. You know what I mean. We should have bought more arrows. But let's be fair, I don't actually need to kill them. I should also upgrade my bow. That on the over there is actually a valid idea. Yeah, certainly so. Right, but I didn't remember what other areas this area leads to. But what I know is that we're not here for the basic area of it. But someone's shooting at me. Ah, that someone is actually accurate. Oh shit. But in this case, quick health. Good thing this shield has as high stability as it does, so it literally seems to bounce every attack off. Ah, a flying shard of stuff. That explains why we couldn't open it. Or is that where I was holding it from? No, no it wasn't. Come on, sir. 
That was just silly. Ah, good. I can't believe I fell for that. It's not all that surprising. Huh. Though I still don't know if this is the direction I actually want to head in. And I still don't remember where the direction I want to head in might be. It might be that this place leads to the... from the... Uh, whatchamacallit. But the odds are... it doesn't. So let us just cut our way to the next bonfire at the least. And then we can worry about the rest of it. Ah yes sir. You. Oh dead. It is nice of him to jump by there. Very nice indeed. Sir. There you go. And you? Uh, bloody arrows. But the next bonfire is just down the way. Like not far away at all. We can kill this guy. We can get our retrieval. Oh, hello. I think you missed your ambush this time. Good try there. Good try. Now getting over on that item is really difficult and I'm not even going to try it despite the fact that I don't know what that item is. And I do now actually know the principle of how to get to that item. But it's still really, really not very easy. One fire lit. Good. One fires are quite pleasant in their nature most of the time. Huh? Oh, knocked down. I did not know this shortcut existed. That's nice. I don't know what other shortcuts this area might be hiding. But I do know that there's some pretty mean looking enemies around. Such as this little zombie fellow with a torch. Yeah, that looks really scary. Really mean. Thank you. And then we have this here. What are those small orange birds? I do not know the nature of them. Alright, these guys... These guys are really mean. Luckily for us, this guy... He also wasn't very smart. So that kind of remedied the part where he's really, really mean. Like, really, really mean. Ah, there's a bridge over here. That leads us to a route that leads us to another route, which leads us to where we can become a part of the. Well, let's say successes of the Dark Raids. Yeah. It's the faction with the red phantoms. Long story short. Oh right. I'm not actually human right now, am I? No. That's kinda sad. Because that means I can't summon myself an ally. Which is something I might actually desire to have in this situation. Nice job. What was the nice job? Oh hello sir. If you'll please come this way. Would you please come this way again? No, no, do that the big attack, like where you put both of them down. Oh shit! Uh, despite the awesome stability on these act, the shield, those sickles are actually capable of attacking me, striking me, giving me damage. But luckily so am I. I also can give damage. Arrow might ooze. 
How oozy. Ah, and now we have an invasion! Go away from this. Dark Spirit Forlorn. <sighs> Trust me when I say this, this guy is a mean motherfucker. Oop, 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 oop. There must be a route up here somewhere. There we go. That's a route. That was up. Ah, you have that ability. Of course you do. But in that case, let us take the battle to an area even safer. We actually seem to have a chance of winning this. That's interesting and new. Invader banished. Quite pleasant, if I may say so myself. Once again, I will thank my shield. For it is a very effective shield. And I believe its purpose is to defeat the uh, invaders who would otherwise uh, shield, bash my shield and kill me. Yeah, that's the one. Hello. Oh, sir, you... That was unexpected of you. I was quite expecting that. You, sir, you'll follow me into the hut in a second, won't you? Yes, come along, man. I don't know how this works. Let's pull the lever. I don't know, this one guy from the top will join us? But last time I also had additional enemies join me for this. But there we go. This looks like it should be a passage of some sort. Maybe not. Did we drop the shield? I mean, not the shield. The gate? Is that what happened? Oh, and this guy will always run away. And Doctor locking onto him will of course be of no help whatsoever. Ah, at this sir. Uh, had the problem of being landed on. That happens to the best of us. No one is a fan of that happening to them, but it happens to the best of us. Just random NPCs falling on your head. And to gain your sublime bone dust, they will come fall on your head from that hole in the ceiling that is looking like a security risk. Uh, I mean, uh, yes. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay, uh, let us just head on over this bridge, I think. I think we have everything from this side that we all need right now. Old ball ahead, therefore dry up. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And the thing is, we need a key. Comfort. Dry chopping off and ten missions of death. Ah, oh yes, that, that, that does sound comforting. Missions of lift, but equipment breakage. <laughs> Great, yes. Clearly this elevator is meant to take us up somewhere, take us. All of this is broken. Ah, locked door. Fascinating. Alright, now what I want to do, uh, of course, is head on its side here. So we can take care of the situation. Can't want a torch. Yeah, but we don't have a torch. So instead, we will run ahead to kill this guy. Wait, no, yes, yes, no. This is a bad place to be. Watch out for the cursing goons because they are evil. Ah, shit. And we hadn't even unlocked the new bonfire. Bugger. Massive bugger. You wanna come down here? No? Okay. You know best. 
All right, then I kind of want to human up because there aren't any massive advantage disadvantages to humaning up. If we have twenty six of the human effigies, that I mentioned that I never actually need, so you know we might as well just use one up because then we can summon some assistance. Nothing major, but you know, a helping hand might be useful. Bloody poison cloud, bl making bloody moths of bloody messes. Okay, we don't need you, sir. You're fired. There we go. We actually fired one. There we go. This is good for business. And Mr. Bashful Ray will be joining us for this expedition. Uh, where did... Oh, that's a running there, man. He could run all across America. If he knew where America was. Oh, well, hello. And now Ray is here as well. Ray is awesome. He has some sort of an ability that actually makes him invisible for a while. That's pretty cool. I dig that ability. Totes. Alright, Ray. Uh, I don't think the necromancers respawn in this. So if any luck, we can actually not have to worry about think Whoop. where did you come from and the skeletons the skeletons i was expecting okay does he respawn no oh, no we're good smash turn because we don't want to lose our humanity humanity is good kids i forgot ray had fire magic This way. Oh, a bridge to the outside. Yeah, that doesn't. That isn't immediately necessary. Smash turn. Ah, and restoration. Oh, sir, you're still alive. Ah, and then we need to unlock this door, but that we can do only from the other side. And for that, we need to go to the other side which luckily for us isn't too far away okay I'll check upstairs first see if there's anything I might have missed like this little place here oh that's a runner let him be it's just the runner there he's still alive interesting And yeah, good. We can now head uphill because that's where we want to go first because that allows us to unlock the bonfire, which allows us to, us to get, you know, back more easily. Be ready, Bachelor Ray. Because this is a battle scene. Stab, in the, stab her in the back. No, in the back, he said. Undead lock away key. Good. Oh, and you are stabbing her in the back. Good. No. These invaders sort of people are being a lot less, you know, hazardous to our health right now. Priestess gloves. That is surprising. I didn't know invaders dropped their items. But of course, I will not disencourage them from doing so again that was a very, very kind move on her part a very kind move indeed all right we can open this door we can light the bonfire 
and we can talk to Creighton. Who are you? I thought you were that bastard for a moment. You've set me free. Now I can find him. The cheeky prick. He won't know what hit him. I am Creighton of Mira. I travel from land to land to hone my blade. I've heard this land was full of danger. I thought it would suit me perfectly. I joined forces with a man on the way. And he was no more than a backstabbing knave. He took the first chance he had to try and offer me. I decided to set a trap for him here. But then I got trapped myself. I can't believe that I was so dense. Thank the stars that you came along. We have met him before when he was invading uh, some guy's world. You be careful of him. Paint, I think he said. He wears this rather unusual ring. You know it when you see it. I've seen this type before. He kills entirely for the pleasure of it. I'm sure I won't be his last victim. The man's better off dead. I'll tell ya. He's a slick talker, so don't let him fool ya. Pate, the man with a strange ring. Watch out for the slimy rat. And don't you believe a word he says. I'll find a common for a bed and put an end to his roguery. <laughs> Uh, so, you will find that uh, the item he carries is a rouge thing. What is it called? A rouge water. So, it's a rosary. Pint. Yes. I'll find the cup. Thank you. Kind of him to help us. Really. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Uh, run, zombie, run. He's gonna run forever, to be fair. I don't think he knows what it means to stop running. One day he will have to stop and face his inner demons. Uh, but I fear that today is not that day.